Thank you, Lord Mayor. Um, given that um, Councillor Jack Deacon was the last speaker, uh, I will just mention this because he mentioned Nelson Mandela, but he'd probably forgotten that one of the big speeches that Nelson Mandela made in terms of his statement was freedom is incomplete without the freedom of Palestinians. And so I remind him of that, and that's the reason why I had him in my original speech. Um, can I just thank everyone that's participated in this very emotive subject? Um, it was important because we've seen mass demonstrations across Birmingham. Clearly, the citizens of Birmingham want to hear politicians, even if we are local councillors and have no real influence on national politics. I welcome the um, amendment by Councillor Majid Mahmood and Councillor Mariam Khan, and that's a, a, an amendment that we fully support. I wasn't aware that standing orders would allow for us to have ceasefire in our motion, otherwise it would have been there, but I certainly welcome that because I believe firmly that peace can only be achieved through dialogue and not death. Um, insofar as the Conservative amendment, unfortunately, um, I, I don't feel we can support that um, for a number of reasons. Um, we talk about Remembrance Day, and we remember the, 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 the gallant people that participated. They fought for this very right, freedom of speech. And if we, if we restrict that, then we are taking away what they actually fought for. Um, but there's a more important reason. The original motion is a motion that provides this city council as the city and sanct the city of uh, sanctuary. It gives us an opportunity to have um, open arms, welcoming those that have been persecuted. I am confident that the Palestinians are proud people and they are unlikely to leave their homeland. But that does not mean that we can't show that as a city of sanctuary that our doors are open to those fleeing persecution. Um, I'd like to also thank Councillor Amar Khan. Um, I think that was your maiden speech. Um, so, so well done in your maiden speech. Um, in relation to the second amendment uh, by the Labour Group, I'm afraid I don't feel we can support that, um, purely because it defeats the whole ethos, that the motion that we set. It's about making sure that we have open doors. And I've, I'm afraid by taking away that aspect and, and calling for the government to provide more aid would undermine our, our motion. Certainly support and thank the Green Party for their contribution. It's something that we can happily um, uh, support. But, but let me just finish with this, because I, I, you, you've heard about self-defense. Uh, the Israeli army, the Israeli government could have had high ground. People say, well, what could they do to eliminate Hamas? And, and you ask yourself, was it impossible for Israel to home in refugee camps on their side of the fence the Palestinian civilians, to set up a refugee camp, to be able to isolate the civilians from the terrorists? Was that such a big ask with all of the support it would have got from international community to allow that to happen? Why not? And if the Israeli army and the Israeli government's tactics were to get rid of Hamas, get rid of Hamas, by making a population of 1.1 million move from northern Gaza to southern Gaza, well, I ask the obvious question to any fair-minded observer. Why did they need to bump and kill three to 4,000 civilians in the first few days. We're not talking about some rogue nation. We're talking about intelligent, articulate, the mightiest military in the Western world with the highest level of sophistication. Why not ask the population to move? And it's that aspect which causes passion and emotions to run high. Lord Mayor, I think I'm running close to time. And, and People like Councillor Majid Mahmood have learnt the art of speaking quick. Unfortunately, I, I don't. But um, I think I've addressed every motion, have I not? Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> no, we were not.